Today I'm going to teach you how to isolate a compromised machine simply by approving an action in your email, thanks to the integration between Microsoft Flow and Microsoft Defender ATP. When a user opens an infected Word document that contains malicious macro, a full attack starts and drops a backdoor executable and a scheduled task for persistence after reboots. Microsoft Defender ATP immediately detects what's happening and your security team receives an email about the attack, relevant alert information, and an action item in the same email asking for approval to isolate the machine. Few moments later, your security team receives a confirmation email that the machine is isolated, giving your security team more time to investigate the attack from the Microsoft Defender ATP portal. So let's see how to build this automation by creating a Microsoft flow that checks if Microsoft Defender ATP detects an alert with severity of high or medium and then kick off an approval workflow to isolate the machine. Before we start though, make sure you have a flow plan one at least to use the premium connections feature. Keep in mind also that you need only one license assigned to the user who is going to run Microsoft flow. Now sign on to your Office 365 portal and click Flow. If you don't see the Flow icon in your homepage, you can quickly find it here. Go to My Flow section and create Automated from Blank Flow to get started. Give it a name and click Skip for now. Type Windows Defender ATP in the search bar and click on the Trigger when a new Windows Defender ATP alert occurs under Triggers. Sign in with your credentials and make sure you have a paid flow plan, not the free one, or you will receive an error here. Now add a new step and search for Windows Defender ATP to view all actions available for you. You want to find the Get Single Alert action, which asks you for the ID of the alert. From the Dynamic Content window, choose Alert ID. Now to be able to get the machine name as a dynamic content that you can use later in your notifications and approval emails, add a new step, search for Windows Defender ATP and choose the get a single machine from the action list. Now in the ID of the machine, choose alert machine ID from the dynamic content window. Next you add a condition to check if the severity of the alert is high or medium by picking up the alert severity from the dynamic content window. You can also pick other criteria beside the alert severity, like if the alert title is suspicious PowerShell command line, for example. If the condition is true, click add an action to start an approval process by choosing an action, start and wait for an approval, and fill the details of the approval notification email. Notice that I added a link to the alert page and the machine page in the email body. Now add a condition to check if the status is approved by choosing the response variable from the dynamic content window and see if it equals approved. If yes, then add an action to isolate the machine by searching for Windows Defender ATP actions again and then pick the isolate machine action and write a comment that will appear in the Defender ATP portal. You can finally send a notification email to your IT security team to acknowledge that a machine has been isolated and start the investigation process in the Microsoft Defender ATP portal. Finally, you can save the flow and check for errors if any. Microsoft Defender ATP and Microsoft Flow integration opens the opportunity for many automation scenarios to come. The whole workflow you saw today ensures your security teams are alerted by email at all times about threads across your organization, and they can take actions from within that email whether they are at work, traveling, or from their mobile devices. Finally, here are some good references that can help you build the flow integration. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing, and please leave a comment below and share your feedback or ask me any question.